Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir. On today's episode, we're taking a look at Ben Affleck and J-Lo's Miami Beach rental. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We like the curb appeal. We like this reflecting pool. I hope J-Lo and Ben Affleck have spent a lot of time reflecting here and thinking about the gift they've given to the world the past few weeks. We love all the AC venting throughout the home. It's way better vented than Dave Portnoy's home that we saw in Miami a few weeks ago. You'll notice ample ducts as we go from room to room. AC is really important to have in the humid weather of Miami. From what I could tell, this home has three kitchens. There's this one, this one, and this one. Three kitchens is super necessary to have because of all the Dunkin' Donuts Ben must have been importing down here. In kitchen one, we love that the fridge matches the walls. We love this sauce fridge. We love that they also made this wall match the kitchen. They didn't have to here, and I just want them to know that we noticed it and we appreciate it. We love the island stove. It lets you see outside while you cook. In kitchen two, we like the mini sauce fridge. In this bathroom, we love this all-in-one sink and countertop. This seems super easy to clean, which will give you more time for other more important activities, like lumping. We love that the shower has a wand. Every shower should have a wand. We love the size of the shower in this bathroom. You could easily lie down here and cry as the water hits your face. Or have a group join you if that's the kind of thing you do. We love these vented closets. We love the size of the main closet. You could fit Dave Duchovny's kitchen in here and still have extra space. It's Miami, so obviously the indoor-outdoor living is super important here for a maximum chill lifestyle. In the backyard, we love the stone throughout the patio. We love this chill barbecue area by the pool. You could easily smash a hot dog right here and then turn around and cannonball right into the pool. We love that these three palm trees are hanging out together. We love these steps to the pool. And finally, we love that the hot tub is separate from the pool. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate how bright it is in some spaces. We don't love all the windows. They're a bit too Euro for me. We hate that every TV is watching the beach, like this one, and this one, and this one, and even this one. Even though I kind of get their sadness because this home isn't on the beach, it's on the bay. We hate that this vanity is all sink and no countertop space. We hate this shower head. It looks like this. This other bathroom has the same vanity sink issue. It also has that shower head. We hate the staircase, especially all those glass. Is this trying to be an Apple store? If there's a murder here, it'll be super easy to solve because you could just check this staircase for fingerprints. In kitchen one, we hate the microwave location, and we also hate the sink location. Why are you making people stare at the wall while washing the dishes? Put it over here by the window to give them a view. We hate the cabinets in kitchen two. In kitchen three, we hate the location of the microwave. We hate that they cheaped out on the fridge in here. This is a $17 million home. Just because this is the guest house, it doesn't mean it shouldn't have a sub-zero. We also hate that they stuffed all these appliances together. That's a real stuff job if I've ever seen one. Finally, outside, we hate this fence. Doesn't seem really secure at all. We hate how dinky the dock is. This dock barely has a 2 BMS boat measurement system. And we hate that it's not an ocean view and you've got to see all these other homes out here. This home ranked three and a half out of five on the homies home ranking scale. Welcome to the Stats After Show where we take a deeper look into the stats. It's not clear if they're still living here or if they just rented it for a little bit, but it was recently sold in April to some jewelry designer and then quickly put for rent. That famous picture of them two together was taken here. Thanks to Architectural Digest for a lot of this info. I didn't give it a high ranking because it was nice, but not so special. Like the floors and walls are all pretty plain. The windows also seem kind of cheap. And the backyard was nice, but not a total vibe vibe. See you all next. I just wanted to give a special shout out to our Patreon iced coffee supporters. Without you all, I wouldn't be able to be a winner and have a $4 iced coffee every day. So thank you. Oh, hey, you're still here. A true story for me and JLo. I was at the Houston Galleria back in like 2004 walking down the mall with my brother when I noticed two tiny people walking really close together and my brother pointed out, hey, that kind of looked like a bodyguard following them. We didn't think much of it until later when we were outside Louis Vuitton and the store was locked and there was a crowd and we asked what's going on and they said J-Lo and Mark Anthony were in there. And then I thought back to the people I saw and yeah, it was J-Lo and Mark Anthony together. That night they were starting to tour together in Houston and I guess they were at the mall doing a little bit of shopping.